With exponents, it's important to understand what happens when everything divides out. Let's take, for example, a to the third over a to the third. When we attempt to reduce out our common factors, all our factors divide out. And we're left with simply one over one, which is equal to just plain old one. Another way to think about this is if you have a to the third and you subtract three from it, which is the denominator's exponent or the common factors that reduce out, you're left with a to the zero. This is why we can say a to the zero is equal to one. It's not equal to zero, it's equal to one. A lot of times, if you're not sure what to do with it, just leave it as a to the zero until you're completely done reducing the rest of your expression. Then come back to it and determine what to do with that variable to the zero power. A zero power rule says anything or a to the zero is equal to one. This is kind of hard to grasp right at first, so let's go ahead and work some problems. If we remember power of a power rule, we know that if we have exponents within parentheses all raised to a power, we can multiply that power down to each exponent within parentheses. So I'm multiplying it to five to the first times zero, x to the third times zero, y to the first times zero, z to the fifth times zero, and we simplify that. Anything multiplied by zero is zero. And this since every single thing raised to a zero gives us one, we have basically one times one times one times one, which gives us one as our solution. Likewise, if we have many different things multiplied to each other, remember, that when we multiply, we can multiply bases and add exponents. The only th restriction is the bases have to match. So let's go ahead and look at this. Three and five could be multiplied together because they're just plain old numbers, and we get 15. The x's all match base-wise, and so we can add the exponents. The y's also match base-wise, and we can have y to the zero plus four plus three. This gives us, finally, fifteen x to the fourth, y to the seventh. And this is my final answer.